Hey everyone, this is Ben for Epic Guitar Instruction. Welcome to this lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to break down the huge song Wagon Wheel by Darius Rucker. Uh, really popular tune to play. A lot of people dig it. And it's a nice, easy strummer. It's a fun one to play. So we're going to break down the chords, the rhythms, and how to piece this thing all together. Uh, we're going to find that we're starting at the capo uh, at the second fret here. So you want to make sure you capo at the second fret. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can capo this around just in case you're playing it with a buddy or you want to try something new. But the original strumming pattern of the tune and the capo second fret and we're going to go through the following chord shapes. We're going to start out with a G formation here. Then we're going to go to a D formation. Then we're going to go to an E minor formation to a C chord. Those four chords are going to get you all the way through the whole tune. So the next thing we want to do is figure out how we're going to add some rhythm here. Oftentimes when I'm learning a song and I'm trying to figure out the rhythm or the groove or feel, what I'll do is say, you know what, I'm going to just grab one chord and I'm going to set it and I'm going to forget it while I concentrate on learning the right hand portion. And then once I have the rhythm going, I got the groove together, then I'll move it through the chords. So I did suggest that you guys do the same if you're just learning this tune. So I'm going to grab my G chord here and let's break down our strumming pattern. Here's the pattern. It's a one measure pattern. And what we're going to do is we're going to strum down. We're going to miss on the way back up. Then we're going to strum down and up. Now we're going to miss on the way down. And now we're going to close out by going up, down, up. The counts for this pattern. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Now, what makes this song really go is that we're swinging the eighth notes. So instead of playing it stiff and straight like so, start moving your right hand in the following fashion long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Bop, ba da. But up, but up, then add the rhythm. Once you got your motion together, speed it up to full tempo and you'll be off and running for wagon wheel. Now move through the chords. Second time we'll go G, D, C, and just hold on C. Now do the same thing again. E minor, C, G, D, C. Speaking of strumming, when we're first starting out on the guitar, this is a huge piece of playing is getting our rhythm together and tying it in with our chord changes. We want to help you out with this here at Epic Guitar Instruction. We want to send you a free video lesson that will teach you several different strumming patterns, proper strumming technique how to keep time, how to keep rhythm. And we're going to give you a whole bunch of rhythm patterns that you can use for several songs. So this is really an important part of guitar playing. We want to help you out with it. Click on the link below. We'll send you that free video lesson and we'll send you an ebook with everything all written out for you as well. All you got to do, click on the link absolutely free from Epic Guitar Instruction. So we have the basic rhythm and the basic chord structure of the tune. And as you listen to the tune, you'll find there's 
areas where you're playing louder or playing quieter, all part of the fun. But what I thought would be fun to do with this lesson is show you how to play the chord progression in some different ways around the guitar. This is such a popular tune to play if you're out camping with friends or maybe you're jamming with a buddy. And sometimes when you're playing with another guitar player, it's nice to do things a little bit differently than they're doing so you can hear the difference between the two guitar parts. One of the ways that we can do this is simply play the chords in a different part of our guitar. So what I've done now is I've taken the capo off and I want to show you how to play the exact same chord progression just in the open position. So following the same timing, now in the open position I'm actually going to play an A shape, going to an E shape, to an F sharp minor bar chord. And finally to a D. And the second time through, just like when we had the capo on, it's going to be a little different. We return to A, then to E, and D for two measures. So you'd end up with the exact same chord progression, but Texturally, it sounds a little different because we're playing different shapes and different patterns in the lower register of our guitar. Here we go, same rhythm pattern too. Now, what if we want to go the other direction and we want to play some higher sounding chord voicings? This can be a lot of fun. When we listen to the original recording, there's all sorts of great bluegrassy sounds in there, banjo, fiddle, all of that good stuff, mandolin even, I think. So if we capo up all the way to the ninth fret and we play the same chord progression, we can really kind of recreate the feel of some of those instruments just on our acoustic guitar. So you'll grab your capo, Plug it all the way up here at the ninth fret. And we can play these same chords now using some different chord shapes. Up in this position, I'm going to use a C shape for my first chord to a G shape for my second chord. And then I'm going to go to an A minor shape for my third chord. And finally to an F shape for my fourth chord. Just like the other two progressions, the second time's a little different. We'll go C to G, and then we'll just hold on F for two measures. Okay, so we have our chord progression in the higher position. Once again, we can apply that same rhythm, and we just get some nice different sounds happening out of our guitar as we play through. Starting with C, G, A minor, So there we have it, Darius Rucker's Wagon Wheel, played in three different registers of our guitar. It's a lot of fun to play. Uh, grab a buddy, grab a friend, jam this tune out. It's a really popular one. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. Hey, if you dig what we're doing too, leave us a comment below. Let us know what you think. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Oh, and subscribe, of course, too. Hit the subscribe button and we'll let you know every time that we bring new videos up to our channel. So once again, this is Ben for Epic Guitar Instruction. I thank you so much and I'll see you next time.